Good day and welcome, my name is Von Dust and we are playing City Skylines After Dark, the new expansion pack for City Skylines. So this is a new channel and this is actually the first video for this channel. I'm really excited to uh, start doing this. It's, uh, I've wanted to do this for quite a while, years actually, and now I finally made the step to do it. So bear with me, it will come across some difficulties. Uh, but I hope that we can make a uh, that can make a fun video for you, and you guys will enjoy at least half of how much I will enjoy creating it. So let's get right into it. We'll be, we'll be playing on the Delvin Bay map, Temperate Coast map, created by Spawn Bugfix. You can find it on the Steam Workshop. It's a great map, and we will be calling our city Greensdale. There we go. Now I will be playing with some mods uh, installed, like the Reddit mod for Chirpy. You can find some interesting messages for uh, that pop up on Reddit, and we'll stream it into the game. I have the better roads tool to show me the angles. I will have the automated bulldoze tool uh, and a bunch of other mods. Come across in the game. I've disabled most of my mods because they kept crashing the game beforehand. Alright, so first pause. This is Greensdale, or it's going to become Greensdale. And I think, looking at this, that we're going to be building the majority of our city along this coastline for now uh, in industrial up here. So let's get this uh, road thingy out of the way by doing this. There we go. Now road makers are happy and we can build more road types and we can start doing that by building a boulevard way across this and uh, we'll be doing that I know you need uh, power and water but we'll get to that later first build the neighborhoods and then supply power and water Okay for now. So when when you're using this tool, you want to always start straight because then the curve of the road will look its best. Uh, unlike here, where I probably did something wrong, but we'll keep it for now. Maybe it will become a tourist attraction, doing a small bend here. Oh, it's okay, bent. And uh, I will be interlaying a grid here. I don't know where to start from, so probably gonna start just by building this, which is insane. I don't want to road here. Build on a ninety degrees angle. This way, we already have to start off our first neighborhood. Great. Now, I'm not against grids. I uh, love my grids in a chaotic, orderly fashion. Which means that you'll see a lot of... This... Kind of grids. It's just... Interesting grids. Oh yeah, uh, let's keep it for now. Make it go here. Make it go here. No. Yes. Oh dear. This is too small. Oh, yeah, that's because of that. Alright, let's just do it this way. I said it would make the grids interesting, and not really interesting as of yet. And I'm terribly sorry for that. But they will get more interesting the longer we play. Uh, 
it's it's an okay interesting bit. Uh, we're not gonna do that. So what we're gonna do here is delete that and create a uh, turn. Doesn't do actually anything except letting me see the elevation. No, 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 no. no. But it might actually be a no. No, no, no. 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 Alright, let's do a bit of a straight point. And then a corner. Great. Um, I was thinking about building, building a park here, but I'm not going to do that instead. Nice little enclave. So this is our first neighborhood, and we will need to get traffic in. I've made this mistake before, we just let it run without ever making the traffic go in here. Eighty-eight point six, ninety-eight point seven. Might be a bit better. Or not? All right, let's do it this way then. That's okay for now. And one of the tr mods that I do have installed is the Upgrade One-Way Road mod, which is really handy in upgrading one-way roads. Basically, that's exactly as it's, uh, as, as it's meant to do. So now we have our cute little neighborhood, and we need to supply it with power, which we will do from here. We need to drain the sewage waste, which we will plunk here. And some water, which we will plunk right over, well, I guess here. Alright. Need to connect that up. Plum. It's a really satisfying plum. This already has energy, which we are going to tap in by doing this and this. A lot of money running through this power line, but we don't really have any other choice. So let's plunk down some houses and talk about well, me, I guess. Uh, let's run it because I'm really new at the whole YouTube thing. None of you have ever heard about me, and if you are watching this video, well, great, you're one of my first few watchers, and you're here for the channel debut. Uh, make some commercial along this. Part of our strip here. All the rest up with houses. So, what kind of gamer am I? Well, I like the call me thinky sort of games, which is a uh, odd way to say it, but basically, I like games where you can just do some stuff, zoom in and out. Uh, think about your next move. Games I play are uh, Hearthstone, European Universalis 4, City Skylines, Banished, a great favorite of mine. Not going to get this, am I? Will this count? It will count. Great. Now I also need water. There we go. So yeah, I like the uh, Calm-esque games. And City Skylines is a uh, great version of a Calm-esque game. Let's uh, build an industrial park here. Industrial down here. Uh, still have that uh, tool selected. Get some power over. Get some water over. I know this is uh, a 
bit detrimental. We'll be paying a lot for these pipes. But that's okay. Hopefully we're gonna be making money here. Uh, real big money, real short. Oh yeah, that's actually what I had to do. Just put it all the way back. Put this to, well, let's leave this as 100. Power issues as always at the horizon. Although not for now, we're just making it doing two watts an hour. Okay, let's do it. Put it down to 70. I don't like this pop-up. Immediately goes over this 70 with this number. What are you talking about? Are you not connected? Should be connected. Now you do? Now you do. Oh. First industrial is popping up. Blink. Hmm? Chicken broth is just meat tea. Shower fault. These are the kinds of messages that I talked about just popping up from uh, Reddit. And they're great, I love them. They always make me smile. You have power. You don't need power. You d don't have power. Okay. Now you do. Happy now? Not happy yet? Happy now though. Great. I like my citizens happy. I'm still growing. Seven citizens per week. Not a lot. We'll get there. Need more industrial. Well, let's give them more industrial. Blonk. So yeah, how, how, how do I build my cities? Well, basically I'll try to build them as chaotic, orderly as possible. Uh, I take a lot of inspiration from existing cities. Uh, and I found that chaotic order is probably the best way to build them. So, as an example, you see this grid. People love their grids. New York is a fascinating city. It's beautiful. People love their skyline. So it's basically just sky towers everywhere in a grid pattern. If you compare it to London, where there are a couple of sky towers plunked down around the city, obscuring the rest of the skyline, it's just horrible. Uh, but in New York we love it because it's all orderly, all towers look a bit different but they're all in a grid, they're all next to each other and we love that. Same as in Edinburgh, if you go to Newtown, uh, it's highly regulated how buildings are put down there, how buildings are built there. So what you get is a city that looks a bit alike but also a bit not. Uh, for instance, if you have this house and you copy it like 100 times and put it all in a row, but give each roof and each wall a different color and it's orderly but also chaotic uh, and there's a serene thing that people find about chaotic orderly planning that they don't find when you just plunk down a couple of structures and oh we are now a little hamlet great we can do some healthcare some garbage some education education so let's start with the garbage, because it will pile up almost immediately. You don't have any power. Well, let's start with power. And what I need to do now is also turn this back. Although that will really be overpaying. Not on 100. There we go. Uh, let's go over to garbage. I will put my garbage... I want to say over here, but I want to make neighborhoods over here. So we'll put it right here. No. Yes, here. So now we have a trash center and we'll be needing a... Start with the school first. And I like my schools in the center of the city. Center of neighborhoods because houses really like it to live around the school. I don't know why. If you would live here, you would hear all the children scream. You can already hear them. So it's for me, not be the best position to live, but hey, apparently people like, if your door open, it's advised not to do that, and I, I know, I, I live in a, uh, I live on the first floor of an apartment, and I've known people around me 
neighbors that actually got robbed on the second and third floor by just by by criminals bringing a giant ladder and just climb up to the balcony so where was that house lost the house so that, that, that kind of housing is uh, oh here it was that 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 just attracts criminals and burglars they just bring a, a ladder put it down go in you're not even being cheered because your door was open. Silly you. You're uh, lucky we don't have any criminals living in here. What's the school still doing? Oh well. So our neighborhood is coming along nice. People are moving in. We're making money. Uh, don't need more industrial at the moment. But I'll plan it anyway. Could use a bit more commercial. So, oh, you know what? Let's let's build it here. Commercial block right here. Don't like building along these ways, along these roads, because they will get really crowded after a while. And I saw something about a Fast and Furious was directed by Volkswagen. There'll be forty times more be in diesel. I get a little bit, it's a bit funny. And there's an entire empty spot that's not being used, and I like that. It's a waste of space. Use it, build something there. Ooh, two of the same buildings. Slightly different color. Chaotic order, I love it. Now these bridges, I really love them, all these lights on it. I love the night time. I've I've played City Skylines uh, a lot before, but that night time you always miss that because you have that in other city building games. And when you play City Skylines, you build an enormous city and you just zoom in and out and go through it. You you miss it that it turns dark and all the lights come on. Uh, now we have it, so that's pretty cool. I'm also really looking forward to the uh, bicycle lanes uh, edition of it. Um, I myself am Dutch. We'll talk a little bit more about myself later. Uh, so I really love my bikes and I'm definitely going to try and make my city as, or our city, as bike efficient as possible. He's going to, did he bring his dog on this scooter? Now he's petting it on this veranda. Well that's okay. Um, so as I said, I myself am Dutch, I'm living in Utrecht, and I'm 25 years old. And I've been gaming basically my entire life. I'm currently also doing a lot for the uh, Lynx gaming community. You will find a link at the bottom of this video. Uh, where we also play games like Mountain Blade, Europe Universalis 4, do line battles. Uh, and I will hopefully make some videos in, that in the future as well. We'll probably do a Europe Universalis 4 playthrough. That's a lonely building right there. This is a drugstore. Doesn't look like a drugstore. Sir, cut a lot. That's funny. Yep, city is still growing. A lot, a lot we can do right now, so let's just uh, improve the speed. Electricity and water is going fine. I can actually use this screen. I can, I'm ignoring this screen all the time. But it's, uh, it's a mock called City Vitals. And you can just easily see what's going on with your city, what's right, what you need to uh, expand on. And you can see here that our electricity is actually going down. Uh, currently consume 12, we produce 15, so we have a little bit left. We also have the uh, pollution mod which uh, removes the purple pollution around your industry and turns it just a little bit gray a little bit brown produce some smoke I really don't like the who we are worth village I really don't like the purple pink fever ish grass type of color since that will uh, it's just it's just unreal it doesn't happen that way grass might die a bit but it doesn't turn purple so we've unlocked a uh, fire department, police department, some unique buildings. We're going to be looking at into that later, since we still need a medical clinic. 
Yes, we do. I'll be plunking that down right now. Uh, let's do it here. In the neighborhood as well. Alright, this will be the end of the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips or tricks, then please comment. Uh, also, subscribe and like. It will help me make my channel grow. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.